let's uh, have you cross out all the A's. Though she underwent a sophisticated and groundbreaking procedure, doctors can measure Kathy Sanford's progress with a simple pen and paper. Last October, a pacemaker was implanted in her brain to help with the effects of Alzheimer's disease. And to see how it's working, Kathy has given tests like this and asked to highlight certain shapes. Her father says the first time she took the test, she barely found any. Then they turned the machine on and she got 30. So it was a dramatic improvement right there. So we knew right then that they were onto something. The machine he is referring to is this. With the touch of a button, doctors can adjust tiny rice-sized probes in Kathy's brain, placed in just the right spot during a delicate surgery. For us to find the right spot in the brain, we do what we call brain mapping, where we put these tiny hair-like microphones into the brain and we're listening to the brain cells or neurons talking to each other. It's a process you can actually hear in this video. As the microphones pick up brain neurons talking, it sounds like static. Dr. Ali Rezai of the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center performed the deep brain stimulation surgery, and after just a few months, he's encouraged. If the early findings that we're seeing continue, to be robust and progressive, then I think um, that will be very promising and encouraging for us. But uh, so far, we are cautiously optimistic. As for Kathy, she didn't hesitate to volunteer to be the first with the implant, not so much for her sake, but for others. Yeah, and I have kids, you know, and grandkids, so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make the world better, I hope. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.